Hello there. Today I'll be finding out the silver content of some ground metal oxide varistors. I got good results from similar kind of material in the past, so I decided to process all of them I have in one go. First thing, I trimmed off the legs, so I'll be using less acid. Then I transferred the trimmed varistors into a steel bucket and burned off the epoxy. Once varistors were cool enough to handle, I transferred them into a beaker, poured in some distilled water and added the nitric acid. I did the reaction outside because dissolving metals in nitric acid produces toxic nitrogen oxides that will go through most general use gas mask filters. When the reaction stopped, I filtered the solution and tested it for the presence of silver ions. To do so, I simply added some sea salt. Chlorine ions react with silver cations and produce large volume of white precipitate even in long concentrations. Except that didn't happen. I was tempted to call it quits. But I had a hunch that I maybe didn't use enough acid to dissolve all of the material and that the silver cemented on undissolved copper. So I tried again.
after confirming that this time there was some silver in the solution, I added a piece of copper to cement it out. It took some time for the reaction to get going, which tells me there isn't a lot of silver. I let it do its thing for a day, after which I filtered off the cemented silver. After I finished with filtration, I washed the cemented silver with distilled water. Normally, I could simply dry it and wait to get the yield, but this time I saw that a lot of ceramic broke down and formed a fine powder that passed straight through the filter and contaminated my product. To separate the ceramic dust from silver, I had to smelt it with a flux. I used a mix of washing soda, borax and crushed glass. But before that, I dried the filter paper to save on gas.
once I burnt off the remains of the paper, there was even less silver than I expected. Even adding more flux couldn't get it together into one blob, so I was forced to scrape out all of the melt, crush it and separate the silver out by hand. I weighed it and got pitiful 0.8 gram. Remember, we started with more than a kilo of material. Though these varistors are not profitable to process in any capacity. Like, subscribe and see you next time.